welcome back to Full Coverage, your favorite podcast with Manny Mue. And Laura Lee. Mm, mm, mm. Happy Friday, people. Welcome I'm, to the pod. I'm so, thank God it's Friday. T-G-I-F. Wait, Katy Perry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, I was like, wait. T-G-I-F. Dude, that music video, have you seen the music video? Absolutely. It that song like, used to be my anthem. Me too. It came out at a very good age for me. Well, how how old is the song? Because I'm like, I'm it's old. It's old, old. But when she's like in I the know house I was with the braces on. Yes. Ooh, that Friday video is so night. iconic. And the song. We saw her in concert sing it. Do you remember? Right. At the stadium? Whatever. Dude, I literally, during Warp Tour, I saw Katy Perry before she, she was at Katy Perry. Katy wow. Perry. Like when I was. I think I was like 17 maybe. And it was a warp tour in San Where Diego. Where has she been lately? And I think she has a residency in, in Vegas. Right. That's why. So she's like on her residency coin. She's on, on the grind. she's on the residency coin. She's on the residency coin. But I saw her, I remember seeing, and that's when she did like I I kissed a girl and I liked it. That was like that oh my moment God, that it, just popped off. Do you want to know what year that shit came out? What? 2010. I think I was either 19 or 20 or like TGIF? 21. Yeah. Dude, I was a kid. I graduated high school in 09. So I was going into my first year of college. So either like 18, 19. Yes. Like 18, 19. Yeah. I was a kiddo. And we were little babies. That song could not have come out at a perfect time for me because I had her CD mm -hmm. and I would turn that shit all the way up. And Do you remember so the CD hard. books in the oh, car? Oh, the CD books happened. If you- Or your biaser would have them lined up. Yes! Okay, if you had those, comment down below. Like, I we, I need to know like If the you age. know about CD books. If you know about CD books and you know about the CD visor that you would put and like slip them through and just pop them in, we need to know about it. We need to know. This is very serious for me. Like I loved my little CD books, but I was also like such a pain in the ass. Oh, absolutely. I'm just searching, I'm like, fuck, where's my LC? And you're my like driving city. 90 down the road. <laughs> And you're like this. Flipping through a CD book, yeah, like trying to shove it in. Which one am I gonna oh play? God. No, it reminds me also like a map quest and you print out the page of map quest to like go find some place. Oh, Jesus. How are we alive? I don't I know. I don't know. I was more self-sufficient though at that time. I was too. Cause I was like getting I things was done. Too. If you didn't, if you missed that exit, baby, you're lost. Oh my God. You were lost. But anyways, you guys, today's episode, we have a rapid fire, of course. Some It's honestly my favorite episodes. They're definitely my favorite. This week, we literally have so much stuff happening. We're just going to be bouncing around through topics because, baby, the tea is hot. The tea is hot. The you, tea, tea is hot. hot. You guys, is you hot. guys, there's some drama. No, it is. There's doozies. Everybody. There's more so news, I would say. Yeah, it's news. Celebrity gossip news. Mm -hmm. But first, we're going to start with our peak and pit. Manny, hit Should us I with one. Should I do peak or pit? Uh, it's a gamble. You know what? Why don't we start with my pit? Let's do it. Because literally, as I'm like, I have a Band-Aid on my arm right now. Because yesterday I went, I got blood drawn. Cause like, so I hadn't gotten like a physical for my doctor in literally like three years, uh -huh. two, three years. And they're like, you need to come like and do your little physical so we can like continue like, you know, cause I take prep and all that stuff, which I go uh, every yeah. three months for my blood work, but I haven't gotten like a physical. Yeah. So like, we just need to, we just want to check in make sure everything's good. Like your heart, cholesterol, yeah. everything. So I'm like, okay. So I went in, got all that tested. So she did my blood work and Everything was fine. Like it went in perfectly. Everything was good. Everything was gorgeous. Didn't feel it. I was just like, whatever. I'll kind of on my phone do my thing. And then when she takes it out, I kind of look down and like, I'm like gushing blood. Like she like puts like a little thingy on my arm and it's like now fully blistered. I'm going to show you guys. <gasps> it's like a full bruise. He is a bruise baby. It's like a full ass blood bruise. Or I don't know what the fuck it is, but that's my peak. <laughs> I mean, my pit. That's Your my pit. Did it hurt? hurt. Then when she took it out, it hurt. So I'm like, oh, she must have like nicked something or the thing is I have such very like big veins. Yeah. I have good old veins for blood draw. So I'm like, if you're missing my veins, what's, what's going, going on? on? Well, it sounds like she struck a vein, honey. I think she struck. Or two or three. Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she struck every vein that was there that she could. <laughs> It's like, it reminded me of like when nurse students have to like, oh pick, my God, like poke each other yeah. to do that. To so learn. that's my, that's my little pit. Even though it's not a big pit, it's, it's wow. a little pit. And I have to band aid now because it looks ugly. <laughs> and I, you know, I was working out last night too. And like, I didn't have a band aid on it. And I was so like self conscious of it. I was like, Manny, is, is it's a bruise. But, there was, but like, what if people thought that I was a crackhead? Oh my God. You know, God. I was thinking about the crackhead of it. Like, I was thinking about, like, well, oh my God. You are kind of a crackhead. I am, but not like, <laughs> not like with drugs, more like mentally. 
<laughs> like I was like, oh my god, do they think that I'm like crazy girl, wait, <laughs> crazy crazy girl, crazy girl? What's the one that you shoot up in the arm? It's crack. That or meth, or is meth. heroin. Heroin. And I'm sure there are other. They thought I was probably doing going heroin. On. I don't think so. I don't think so. What if I'm at the gym and people that are like, and people that I'm like looking at and checking out, they think I'm doing heroin. Okay. You know, <laughs> if they think that, then they're not the one. They're not. The, okay, they're just okay. not the one. Okay. Well, that's, 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 that's my pit. My pit this week is I'm like halfway here right now. <laughs> I took a She's a shell of a human. I'm a shell of a human. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys, uh, maybe this is happening to you right now, but like, I think once sometimes on bad years, twice a year, I'll have like this huge allergy outbreak where I can't, I'm sneezing 24 mm-hmm. seven, you know, the clear snot that never stops running the yep. watery eyes. Typical, every orifice leaking. Every orifice is just leaking mm-hmm. and it's just allergy stuff. But I took a Claritin because obviously we're filming the podcast mm-hmm. and I didn't want to be sniffling and sneezing on the podcast. And also, I try, even if I'm not filming the podcast and I know it's a bad allergy day, I'll obviously take one anyways because sure. I can't function. But just bear with me because if I have a sound like I'm just like got my nose plugged up and I'm sniffling because it's so gross in the mic, me like constantly. Mm-hmm. It's allergies and it's just like going around right now because Ty's like, every time you have allergies, his trainer has really bad really? allergies. So we like, It's yes, like you guys are synced. We're synced. You so have the same I, but it cycle. makes me feel like, oh, it's going around. Like it's yeah. in the air. Like mm-hmm. like it's people's allergies are fucked up right now. So mine are at a 10. You're and, out of control. And I go through this like once a year. This is my time. It's weird. It didn't happen to me this spring, but this fall. We are at full force with allergies. So I took the Claritin 24 hours, which normally does it make me tired, but it, sometimes allergy pills make you feel crazy. And they make you feel like you're on actual drugs. Yes, yes. Like even right now, I almost told you, like dead ass, I almost told you the Try Guys were my pit because I just saw the word and I'm just so like, la, la, la. <laughs> like that's what they do to you. They just no, make you I crazy. Know. They make you cra- it's like Dramamine. Dramamine does that to it me too. too. Like Dramamine makes too. me feel like I like took an edible. Like I don't even know. Like mm, something along those lines does. where you're like, ex- like where it you're so. That vibe. That almost like body heaviness, heavy. like where you're just like exhausted and heavy. I'm like, did I just take a fucking edible? <laughs> but it's literally like a legal edible. It is. It is. It makes me feel crazy. Makes but feel crazy. I can feel it kicking in that right was my now. Arm. That was my arm. He I farted. Even, I didn't mean to. F- I, that was my arm. He farted. Um, but I'm, I'm feel actually feeling it's, better. It's kicking in. Yeah. Well, you I'm sound better than you better. were. The second I saw you, you were like, uh, you know, it's like dying. that just like congestion here. Yep. And that's where I'm at. You know, that's that's where I'm at. We do this every year. You know, there was a point in my life where I was like, I think there you can grow out of bad allergies. But according to TikTok, you can't. You can't. And it it actually tends to get worse. You can't because my mom has really bad allergies, too. And and like right now, her allergies are bad right now. So that's how I know, too. It's like it's an allergy vibe. It is. It's something in the air. You know, the trees are doing something. Mm -hmm. Something is exploding right now. And I'm like. Fucked up, guys. I'm on my little 24 Claritin too. Ugh. I take them at nighttime though, so I can just kind of like do the re ups, especially during like the fall and spring. I'm like baby Claritin every night. Like, with see, my I don't pills. take you know medicine. You don't take anything. Yeah, you don't, I don't take, take any medicine. Stuff. I try not to. Mm-hmm. So if I wake up and I'm like starting, oh, I'll go take it. Uh-huh. And the past two days have been medium, so I haven't taken one. Right. But today, of course, it's at a ten. It's at a ten. Mm-hmm. I woke up this morning in a sneezing fit. I woke up four a.m. four a.m. in a sneezing fit. I woke up tying everyone. He's mm-hmm. like, take the fucking Claritin. <laughs> so I took one, and the only bad thing is they take like hours to kick in. I know it's the you worst. Know? It's you know the how worst. it goes, but it's kicking. It's kicking in, so mm-hmm. we're getting better. Mm-hmm. What's your? I like Zizel. Oh yeah, he likes Zizel. I'm gonna try that. I did Claritin like 24 hour because a lot of them make me really, really tired. And you know, once I found one that didn't, I'm like, you know, obviously like this is the one. Mm-hmm. This is the one. This is the one. I'm not drowsy. Cause shit be making you tired. I know. You know what I mean? And you can't, especially like we're having a pod day. Like we can't we be can't. fucking tired. We can't do we it. We have to be on a fucking 10. We gotta be at a 10. Uh-huh. And we gotta be at a 10 for about four to five hours. So yep. can't have any. Exactly, of that exactly. So Peak. peak. What's peak yours? Time. My peak is now that I'm talking to a new guy. Ah. Ah. I'm talking to a new guy. Out with the old and with the new. <laughs> okay, guys. So I remember like I told the full fam. I was like talking to a guy and we had like gone on two dates guy, and it was going good. It's the guy that he told you guys about last time at the bar that he fought. That's the guy he's talking to I'm now. I'm talking to the one that I, the, <laughs> the rat. Ex. The, the, ex, the, ex the ex that scurried out. <laughs> I'm talking to him. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's so funny because like my friends that I talked about in the episode when they, I was like, oh, I, we talked, I talked about it on the, on the podcast, and they were like, <gasps> shook. Oh, it was so cute. Like they are the Daniel literal best. Daniel watched Daniel it. Daniel immediately texted me because I was like, if Daniel was there, and he's like, you know, if I yeah. was there, yeah. No, um, but it was yes. Yeah, so I'm talking to a new guy. I'm really, really excited because things are going well, and I don't want to like give obviously too much away because I don't like to like. You know, I don't like to put it. You don't have to too follow up with a it's DC so hard. either. It's so hard. Like I don't, because the guy like that I was talking to before, we we're talking, everything was going good, and then I let we went to Ibiza, mm -hmm. and so we kind of like didn't really talk or text because I was in like, Ibiza. Oh, and the time, different time, time difference, time difference, right? So I got back, and we kind of were both kind of like, oh hey, like it wasn't like it didn't keep it going. The spark, the spark was, was like, unsparked. It was already unsparked, and so. I was just like, I'm kind of like over it. So literally like I stopped talking to him and I'm not kidding you, the next day I met this guy. The next day. You're kidding. I was like, what? You're kidding. So I, I don't know how it happened because it never happened to me like that where like things just flow in that way. Yeah. But I was like a little spooked. And you've shook. been enjoying his company. I have. Mm. We've gone on several dates now. Oh, uh -huh. my uh -huh. God. Several. So I'm going to keep you guys filled in on the tea. Okay. Because I, I don't want to give too much away. Also, I don't like to like, What's it called when you? You don't want to put it out there too yes. much. You want to go overboard, yes. like like talking about it and like yes. putting it out there when things are kind of not for sure. That's and that's and that I'm I'm like that with everything. Like yeah. I'm like that with work stuff. I'm like that with like relationships. With like literally anything. I'm like I don't like to put it out there too quickly. Yeah. Because I definitely believe in like energy and vibes. And if people are like wish downfall upon you and like yeah. shitty things, then it's like well, what if that infiltrates a good thing that's happening? So I want to like kind of. Yeah. Keep it to myself for a little bit because there's something about like keeping things to yourself too that's very important. Mm -hmm. And that's like very like sacred to your own self and your own sanity. I agree. So I'm currently in that phase. That's I'll awesome. I'll tell you more off camera. <laughs> but like, you know, for like the world to know, we're down it's to- It's gotta get a little more it's serious. It has to get more serious before I really start to like go in. That makes sense. You know though. what I mean? That totally makes so sense. So that's where I'm at. So I'm at, I'm pretty stoked. I'm glad that we're, that we're talking. I'm finally like talking Yay. to someone that's actually like really cool. That's amazing. I'm uh -huh. so happy for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then there's, there's been actually, I feel like, like, like there's been some trauma ones and then there's been trauma. And then I feel like there's been some good ones back to back. You mm -hmm. know, there really haven't been trauma. Yeah. No, it's, just it's, been like it's just been normal. like, kind of like mm, yeah. a fizzle out or like a which is great. whatever, which has been really nice. Cause I feel like recently, like Laura knows, like I'll go in like these phases where I'll like be talking to guys and I'll be like dating like Loki for like three months straight. I'll like be going on dates like constantly and I'll be like, boom, 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 boom. And then there's like, ebbs and flows when I'm not talking to literally anyone and I'm like not really even interested in talking to someone because I get disappointed from the talking before. I feel so like I this break. year you've dated more than the past years. 100%. Why do you think that is? I wonder if it's just because like I feel more comfortable with myself this year than I, I just feel like every year I get more and more like co content with me. Yeah. You know, and, like, I, I, I figure like you, yeah, it's like we like kind of like figure out what we really want in life. We figure out like the things that are important to us. Like I feel like every year you just kind of get more and more of that. So for me, I'm like, okay, if I'm spending less time on like these, let's say events or all these kind of other shit, yeah. I can like focus more on like me and my life stuff. You know what I was thinking about the other day, not to troll from your dating life, but I was thinking the other day we used to, cause we kind of like came up together on social media and we kind of did the same thing as far as like what we were doing in LA. Mm -hmm. And like, we used to like go do so much, travel so much, go to so many events, mm -hmm. go to so many brand trips, go to so mm -hmm. many meetings. And I look back and when I look back on my life back then, I, I know for a fact I was miserable. Right. Doesn't matter how so happy I pretend to be online. Mm -hmm. I was pretty miserable just overall as a human being because I had zero time to myself. I had zero time to absorb what was happening. Mm -hmm. I had zero time to think about what I was doing. And it was just all happening so fast. It was like week to week, leaving for weeks at a time, traveling and like scrounging mm -hmm. to make content. So right. I was so busy. And like, you would just have to go to every single event. And hindsight, like looking back at that lifestyle, I'm like, honestly, a lot of that did nothing for us. Right. A lot of it didn't. Mm -hmm. Did we have to go to every event? No. No, we would have had the same career. Did we mm -hmm. have to jump on every brand trip? No. No. And so like me looking back, like absorbing like why I was so unhappy and what made it that way. And But I'm like, but but did it get me to where I'm at? I'm like, yes, to an extent, but did yeah. I have to take In it that way. far? Right. Absolutely not. Well, we had horse blinders on. 
We did. We did. We had horse bladders on, and it was just like go, 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 go. Don't stop and acknowledge. Don't Mm -hmm. slow down. But I I should have because I would have realized how miserable I was, and I could have cut the shit out of my life, and all the things that I didn't need to attend, and things I didn't need to be a part of, and actually enjoyed my life some. So I feel like that's like kind of where we're at now, where me and you're more. We enjoy our lives more, like you Mm -hmm. dating, and it's like Mm -hmm. that would never happen if we kept our lifestyle the same. No, I would be too busy to, to date. I couldn't do it. There's an event every night of the week Mm -hmm. you know and it's like me and you now are like do i work with this brand what's the point of this event right like why why, am i invited mm -hmm. is this going to service my time well or is this just another la event you know we start asking those questions and we really start to do things that are good for us good for our careers and benefit us or either it's something we want to do Hun- you know I what I mean? I cannot agree more. And I feel like the exact same way. I feel like as I get, again, like as I get older, like you almost like start to really focus on what you're wanting from your yeah. life. And like, and like, I get it. Cause the twenties are for grinding. They are. I grinded so I wish hard. I, grind- I mean, hindsight is 2020, like whatever. Of course. But I do wish I grind it in a different way. I wish right. I grind it on my brands and on my content. Cause I mm-hmm. look, me and Aaron, what got me thinking about this, me and Aaron were watching um the throwback Halloween videos. Oh, ah, the with best. Gabby and Nikita. Yes. So we're watching those and like, I, it just brought me back to that time. And I started thinking it all through and I was like, I wish I would have grinded it in a different way that was much more productive for my career than going out in LA to like all these, for lack of better words, dumb events that like literally right. do nothing for your career or mm-hmm. you. You're just mm-hmm. literally pushing brands, brands, brands whenever a lot are a dead end. Well, especially like, a, the, like there's like this like weird cycle, right? Where like you go in the beginning of like your career, you go to these events and it's for networking. So there's definitely like a point in the beginning, but like once you become let's say more established or things are going on in a different way. And like, you have a lot of shit going on for you. It really starts to take time away from like what you could be doing. So like when you're at these events, it's like, why am I here exactly again? Like, am I like, I could be doing X, Y, and Z and like getting so much other stuff done and productive and like am i just going out because it's i'm having fun like yeah and like, then you're like, like well i didn't have but, fun but it, was my, but it was a work event like is it but really if, that fun yeah but it's like did you have fun like right. no i'd rather go out with my friends yes. like my friends and go out mm-hmm. and like that would be fun like you it's know what weird. i mean it is weird it's like, like that cycle. the networking was great totally but you In also but yeah it and you sense. also get that out of the events that you should go to totally you know what i mean like 100%. you would have gotten enough networking into the events that make sense for you whereas mm-hmm. me and like all of us honestly we all felt like we had to go to everything and be at everything Thing, but we really did it to be it. seen all to the time all to snap the time. everything to make sure that everyone knew that we were there because we wanted to look cool exactly all that stuff that. it's all part of it and we really didn't need to do any of that mm. I, I i i feel like so anyways now i just see us living the life i wish we would have lived more in our 20s totally but hey we're still young and we're now mm. living a very fulfilled life to- and honestly like i'm glad because like i can still go to events and do things like that but things that i actually genuinely want to do with brands that I feel like actually care about me and they're not just seeing me See, as like that's a number. The thing. See, that's the thing. I'm like, I'm not a, just a body in your room. I actually have so much going on. So if we want to have a deeper connection, if we, if this is a brand I absolutely love, if this is a brand that works with me, great. Like mm-hmm. I'm there with bells on or obviously me and Manny try to always support everyone in the industry. So yes. if they're having like a dinner or something, we would love to come out and support them. But like all the rest and in between is like used for our brands, dating, going mm-hmm. out with our friends, Friends, family stuff family and like stuff that matters and like mm-hmm. overall it's such a more fulfilling life i feel like after we what we had to deal with 2018 like yeah we had like a big reset mentally i don't want to take this like, much credit but i do feel like we re- reset the entire industry like for, i think well, we, we were like in the beauty the industry world? in the beauty in, no in the beauty i mean be- sorry no in the industry beauty industry in beauty. yeah i think we reset industry. the industry we definitely did something like <laughs> like we, we were the first like we were the first ever big situation like that at the time for like, beauty we were for beauty we were like for the beauty, one we were the first ones that got to that level yes and 100%. so i don't know it's just all so interesting looking back i know it's like it's it is really really crazy but i'm i'm glad where we are now and i me feel too. like i just get happier every year me too with, with stuff just in and general. i'm like what is making me happier so then i acknowledge mm. you know what was making me not happy and i'm like mm. oh this is this is what I was supposed to be doing. Moving and going and going and going and going. Yeah. And it's hard though. Cause honestly, like even looking back, like we can't even be like that hard on ourselves because well, at what the can time you do everyone it? grinded like that. What like, can you do that, about what, it? And what can you do? Like literally like we did what we thought we had to do. 
and we got to where we are in our careers. I'm so grateful that we're here. Yeah. And it's like looking back, like maybe we could have gone into a little bit less events for sure. But <laughs> yeah. we were like, we were grinding. It, we I just we had always to. think it's so important to look back and reflect. Mm -hmm. So you understand why you're unhappy. And that mm -hmm. way you make sure you don't do those things in your future. And that way you have a happier future and like a happier present time. Exactly. So anyways, we'll take a break. All right, and then we'll come back with your piece. <laughs> We'll, we'll be, be back. right back. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. You guys, it is so important to take care of your brain, not just your physical, everything you know about your body. You need to take care of your brain as well. And it might be really, really tough sometimes, but with BetterHelp, we have an amazing resource online, easy to acquire, where you can really start to kind of take care of yourself mentally. So if you guys are thinking of therapy, you guys can try BetterHelp. It's a great option because it's convenient, accessible, affordable, and it's entirely online. Mm -hmm. We all have the internet at our fingertips, guys. So therapy is now just so accessible compared to what it was in the past. And you guys can get that through BetterHelp. You can even get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey. And you can switch therapists at any time. I love that because I personally have done therapy multiple times throughout my life. And it's always helped me so much just to kind of reevaluate things and like have almost like a bouncing board. Like a talking, reset. Almost. Yeah, a reset, talking to someone about things. You'd be like, yo, what, what's your opinion? What do you think? Almost like an outside source, which is so nice. And like the fact that it's online, there's no having to worry going to the office and seeing other people in the office and like it feeling that kind easy. of like weird kind of judgment potentially. It makes it 10 times easier for it to literally be confident and private. And a lot of therapists charge thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. which people do not have to spend mm -hmm. on therapy, you know? So, Absolutely. so it's more affordable with betterhelp.com. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash full coverage today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash full coverage. We're back. With Laura Lee's peak. <laughs> okay, my peak this week. I kind of, well, I'll save one for next week, but I kind of have like too many ones. Mm -hmm. One tonight after this, guys, me and Manny are girls on the go, but in a fun way. We are way. girls in a We're fun, a fun way. way. Yeah. Tyler's on a softball team with a bunch of guys mm -hmm. and the girls will feed the guys most nights. And mm -hmm. like my night is tonight. So of course that automatically ropes Manny in. I'm, <laughs> and I am also going to be coming as well. Uh huh. I've been to one of Tyler's softball games though. He and has. it was so fun. And I got like really into it. Yes. I was like, beat their fucking asses. <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't, but I could have been. So as a busy entrepreneur that I am. <laughs> <laughs> As a busy entrepreneur. I, as the busy entrepreneur that I am, mm -hmm. I do not have time. I lived to, in Manny. To, I lived in Manny. <laughs> and I do not have time to cook a home cooked meal. No. Okay. So I ordered raisin cake, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is fried chicken. I ordered a ton of fried chicken, <laughs> bread, and French fries. I and, can't wait. and me and Manny are going to go pick it up after this podcast, after we film both podcasts. And then we're going to go. Oh, I baked brownies all night. Brownies. So that was like my vice. I was you like, did. if I'm not, because the girls tend to cook the guys a meal. That's kind of thing. You cook them a meal. Mm -hmm. But honey, <laughs> I got things to do. <laughs> Ty's like, you crazy bitch. And me, I'm like, I have naps to take. <laughs> and he's like, I needed a <laughs> nap. Naps to take. But last night, all night, I, I cooked three boxes <laughs> dude you literally but tell them how good they, they are no there's i just had one and literally they're fucking delectable they're delectable but that takes so much like baking every like baking three sets of stuff like that's like boom 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 oh yeah back to back at like 12 o'clock last night I remember you're like when the fuck I are was, you away laura texted me at like 12 o'clock i said are you okay <laughs> like Girl, what are you, you doing good? you don't text me after like 10 p.m uh, exactly and i was downstairs chopping the brownies into blocks and putting them in their containers so that way they wouldn't be still for today. Uh -huh. Because I learned this trick off TikTok. Listen up, brownie lovers. Mm. So make your box brownies how you make them. Make mm -hmm. sure they're a little gooey in the center. Don't get crazy I now. Love, no one love. wants a brick. But I love the edges to be crispy. Ooh, I love the corner. Piece? The corner pieces are my the number one. The one I already ate had two edges. Oh. oh yeah, I took a corner. My favorite. They're the best. And I also put a little sea salt on top. 
before I put them just in the little, oven, just a little, so it has a little tang to it. Of course, she loves her her, her savory. So you guys got to get these silicone, they're like rectangular shaped silicone containers and you bake them in the silicone container. Oh, okay. And then you put them in the refrigerator right out of the oven and you mm. let them cool. So that's why I had to cut them so late at night because they were cooling in the refrigerator. God. You pop them out of the silicone container and they chop almost like a piece of cheese, like in perfect squares. That's how they're so perfect, like the squares. I was wondering how they looked so TikTok, cutie. TikTok. Talk, talk me that. And so I was like, I had tried it because I made brownies because Aaron was home. So mm -hmm. I had made brownies for her and me and Ty. And I was like, I'm going to try this. And it worked so freaking well. I was like, ooh, I'm going to do this. But of course, it was like five trays of brownies that I had to do because I was of doing course. it for the guys. Right. So that's what I was doing last night. Anyways, I'm so excited tonight to, be, be, to be feeding these men. I'm excited to feed these men to you. A delectable, <laughs> nutritious meal of fried chicken, fried chicken french bread. fries, bread, and brownies. There will be no green served. But I feel like if it's after the game, they get a treat. Oh, yeah, they it's get a, a treat. It's a treat for after the game. Like, they just worked hard. They just hit some home runs. I told Tyler, I'm like, if you don't hit a home run, I'm never going to game again. Ah! ah. You hear that? To declare. <laughs> he said what? Exactly. He doesn't pay attention to us. And never. He Anyways, doesn't pay attention. Uh, my excited. second peak, which is tiny, Erin is officially moved in to her apartment and she's staying at school for at least a month. Minimal. Oh my God. Praise it, be. It's done. Praise be to you. My girl has moved off officially. She's officially moved out of the Finally. house. Of the casita. Because her apartment started October 1st. Mm -hmm. So Monday morning, I helped her pack that little Fiat. And I said, no more hotel. Get yourself going. No more hotels. No more, no more temporary, temporary dorms. Living. No more coming home every weekend because she has nowhere to go. She sat. It's like you have an apartment. And I had a long talk with her and I told her before she left, I strongly advise that you don't do this college thing as a figure things out. I was like, I personally think you need to get your degree. I said, because this is the thing. If you want to do social media or something else, your degree, you're only taking, you only have to take 12 hours of classes. You have time to get your degree. Plus do another adventure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Literally, you can do, you can do so you much. You can do so much. I mm -hmm. said, and the four years are going to pass anyways. You might as well get your degree. So I try to really push her to get her degree. I mean... And we'll see what happens, you know? The cool thing about, like, for me, like, with college, too, like like I was saying, like, even though I don't use my health science degree whatsoever, it did teach me just, like, real valuable, like, life lessons. Totally. I didn't have before I went to college. So yeah. I think that it's, like, if anything, and, like, she, let's say she doesn't, never uses her degree, she'll learn, like, time so management much. skills, and she'll learn, like, people skills, and she'll learn all these different things that, like, what it takes, like, in the real world to actually live a real normal life. She'll learn all those things, time management and And I think college is like such a great way to like get that at such a good age. You know exactly. what I mean? A very it's impressionable like, age. It's a very impressionable age and it's really good to do that alongside. But this is, I'm not necessarily pro college. I never have been. Right. I grew up different than people who could just go to college mm -hmm. and get that you know, taken care of. I like Aaron's situation. I never got. So I'm not pro college. And that's because I got the life lessons, people skills, earlier time management through working. Mm -hmm. And you can get that through working without, you know, $40,000 in debt. So I feel like for me, college, if you don't graduate, if you graduate, great, because then you get that degree right? So and the debt and makes it worth it. Right, you got something And you got more it. than just the life experience. So mm -hmm. then it is, it's like so worth it. Right. And then you have that degree for the rest of your life. Totally. And you can always fall back on mm -hmm. it. But for me, it was just always like, I never understood that because I'm like, why would you spend that much money to get a life experience when you can just go to work? Right. Like just go to work right. 40 hours a week. You'll have to learn people skills. You'll mm -hmm. have to learn time management. You have to grow up really quick. And that was my way of getting it without the debt. But mm -hmm. if you do get the degree, then in that case, I think it's worth it. Totally. And but if you do too, it like and don't. I think it's like a waste of your time. It's a waste of time. Like you could just start working, girl. Mm -hmm. No, and I think that, you know, for me, like in that time frame, because I was a waiter at, when I was in college too, like it taught me that time management skills, all that Definitely. kind of stuff. Definitely. Plus college, like that, and that just that time frame for me, because I was working and going to college at the same time. Me too. It just built so much. Like I didn't one, get like a few years. the cool college experience because I went to I night either. school with adults. I didn't get that either. Like I didn't go to like day classes yeah. with people my age. I worked from 6 a.m. to night. And then I went to this night school downtown in the city I'm from with mm. all the 30 and 40 year olds. And I was a teen, you know, or right. I was in my young you 20s. 
There was no parties. I mean, but the thing is, on the weekends, I would like go enjoy that experience with Tyler. Yes. He got more of the actual college. At college. The real at college, like college is your main focus kind yes. of college experience. Whereas college was always like a side hustle for me. And mm. I was just trying to survive. But, and I fully regret going. I didn't take away, honestly, anything from right. it other than debt. Mm. Um, and that's, Part of the reason I'm just like not necessarily – I don't think you're guaranteed success if you go to college. Oh, you're not. You know? No, like because like at the end of the day, like the success is what you make of success. Like, Thank you. You build your own success. Like, That's it. And like obviously there's different things with like different circumstances and different like being born into different families. Like yes. totally like that all plays a factor yes. in it. But like you still have to work for what you want. Thank you. At the end of the day. Thank you. You know, and that doesn't it doesn't matter if you're not privileged or privileged. Like – you still have to work for things. And people it's always to be like when kids but. don't go to college, they look so I, f- I, I feel the look down upon, you mm-hmm. know, like, oh, you're not going to do anything with your life. And then when people go to college, they automatically are like, oh, that's so good. I'm mm-hmm. like, but that doesn't guarantee anything. No, it doesn't, it doesn't even guarantee they're going to graduate. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's just I guess my because of my experience, uh, that's just my outlook on it. But you totally. agree, you know, it's mm-hmm. like going to well, college. I get it. I you totally, get what I'm saying. Totally get like, what you're saying. Like I went to college and I got my degree. But like, you know, I don't use my degree in any way, shape or form. I use like skills I learned from college. Yeah. But I don't use, I don't use my degree. I think you, you know? would have been successful with your degree um, because Same. of your ambition. I'm a go-getter. You have a lot of ambition. Yeah. So it didn't really matter what you put yourself into. Whatever you really loved, you are successful at it. and you yeah. were just going to do it. Mm-hmm. Um. So, and that's why I'm like, people can get their degree and do nothing with it and like, I mean, success is what you make, what you want success to be. But mm. it's just like society's outlook is like you're automatically going to be successful if you go to college. And I just think that's such a lie. Totally. And the thing is, it's, it's also just really hard because like a lot of jobs require a degree. Yeah. So that's like what. So I think when people like kind of give you that like, oh, thank goodness you're going to college. It's yeah. like, well, shit, like the, the doors that are open for you when you have a degree specifically, not going to college, but have a degree. Yeah. Are like exponentially more because of what. Right. You know how the world works. I think. You know, if you graduate from college, you know the percentage of kids that go to college and don't graduate? I don't. It's huge. I bet it's so high. So that's why I'm always like, success is what you make of it. Mm-hmm. And I know a ton of people that have a lot of money and a huge career that never walked into the doors of college. Mm-hmm. So it's like we shouldn't automatically deem people um, that don't go to college as, as failures, failures mm-hmm. and like they're not going to be successful because it couldn't be further from the truth. I'm a college dropout myself. And I wasted a lot of time and money in college. And I think if you got the ambition, you got the ambition. Mm -hmm. If you don't, I think that's 100% okay. I don't think every human on this planet is supposed to be a hustler. Right. You know what I mean? It's just not realistic. It's not. (laughs) The world wouldn't be what it is if everyone was a hustler. (laughs) Literally. Literally. It is what it is. Like, that's just like not And that's why I say success is what you make it. Because for a hustler, success may be one thing. Mm -hmm. For someone else who's more relaxed in their life and happy and content, that is just as successful. I agree. For them, you Mm -hmm. know. So it's just an interesting topic. And I bring it up because so many people have given me their input on Erin and what she needs to do with her life. And Mm -hmm. I'm like... I tell Aaron, I'm like, don't listen to anybody. Just do, Just you. do you. Whatever girl. makes you happy, like whatever you feel content with, and like that's gonna be the best for you. What do that. works for you and your yes. happiness and your success. Right. Like, and you're gonna do and you're help to you're there to guide. Totally. Like you can't force her to do anything. Like you're helped to she guide. She wants her me in to right force direction. her. I know. That's what she wants. That's like her goal in life is for me to, to just tell her every all. little thing she's gonna do. Uh-huh. And I'm like, no, this is not my life. It's your life. You yes. build it and I'm here to guide you. I'm here to support you. Exactly. And that's just what it's gonna be. You know, Aaron's lucky to have you guys. She is lucky. She is lucky. She's a very privileged person. Mm-hmm. She's a very lucky person. She's very spoiled. So, mm-hmm. but she's doing her thing now. She's moved in and she's officially figuring it out. And I am proud of her. Like finally for, yes. ge- for getting like, somewhere. Yes, yes, like yes. we got somewhere. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You know, we're like the balls in the court. The ball. She needs to dribble. Is finally rolling. <laughs> yes. And I'm proud of that. I'm taking what we can get, baby. Hey, we're taking we're taking the W's when we can. <laughs> I'm gonna take them W's when we can. Okay. Yes. But if Aaron tomorrow was like, I want to drop out of college, I have this genius idea, and I'm going to pursue going it, and tank. this is how I'm gonna do it. I'd be like, fuck yeah, let's do, do it. it. You know, whatever your mm-hmm. ambitions, wherever if you're ambitious, wherever they take you, I support. Do it as long as it's not harming anyone <laughs> yes. or anything. So within reason. 
it's interesting. It Absolutely. stays on my mind a lot, clearly. I mean, how could it not? I know. It's like part of your literal real life. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> so it is. It is. It's like literally impossible not to. See, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay. okay, guys. So now let's go and start off with our first tea, tidbit of tea. The Try Guys. Oh, This, Lord. I feel like, is like the main You know why whammo. I think it got so big? This drama here Why? for them because they never have drama. Exactly, it's always the people that don't really have anything like dramatic or things going on that have like the whammos. It just explodes. But it's also like not only that, but because Ned is literally the like the wife guy. Like yeah. he was literally like you know built his whole career it's off of the being wife like guy. yeah, it's like he built his whole career <laughs> off of being like I I am a loving wife and like I'm a loving Settle husband down. and that. So I think that it's because it was such a huge you know, far right yeah. of what it was, that yeah. it's just like, oh my God, like it was almost like just jarring yeah. for a lot of people. Especially because like the Try Guys, like they're no notoriously like just like chill, sweet guys who yeah. are literally- At least they seem that way on camera. Absolutely. The thing is, I know Eugene and Keith, like I've met them both. I and, haven't like, met them. They are the fucking sweetest I'm ever. sure they are sweet. You know what I like, mean? Like genuinely, like in real life, like they're fucking cool ass people. Yeah. So um, they actually just came out with a video. Um, basically, you guys, the Try Guys, let's <laughs> start with that first. <laughs> <laughs> are like four members of like this group, right? And they have like a channel and they it have a started podcast. With started, started with BuzzFeed. They started with BuzzFeed, like try, mm -hmm. trying things. It was these yes, sweet, the goofy guys. guys. Yep. And they would come on and they mm -hmm. would try things and their videos got really viral. So they started their own company and branched out away from BuzzFeed on their own. And then mm -hmm. honestly, I think they exploded even bigger became when even they did more, that. I couldn't agree more. They, I feel like they Super became famous. way more successful with it. They did. Uh -huh, with like them being the try guys specifically. And so there's, you know, four members and recently it just came out that one of the members who had a wife you know was caught cheating with an employee of theirs and they yes. signed apparently the try guys have contracts they signed basically mm -hmm. saying they wouldn't do that you can't do that like it's against hr like you right. can't, well, i mean yeah it's like literally you HR, cannot like 101. have a relationship with one of the employees and the one that's like known for being married known for being a family guy if you will mm -hmm. is the one who did it, Ned Fulmer, mm -hmm. Ned Fulmer. So the Try Guys just came out with a statement saying they are cutting him from the group of four Try Guys. Like he's cut because of this scandal, mm -hmm. the cheating scandal. So it'll be Try Guys with the Y now going to Try Guys with an I. <gasps> oh, the Try, a <gasps> triangle. Oh, that's cute, right? I imagine like, that. like imagine if they did Try with an I. <laughs> We're giving a lot of ideas. That's I so would like ten percent. <laughs> Manny wants to. I would like 10%. <laughs> That's a businessman right there. That's a businessman. I'm a businessman. I like 10%. Yes. Um, but, no, so so basically, what you guys, the reason they even found out what happened was because they actually had fans DMing them and telling them and sending them photos of them at a concert. Ned and I think her name is, She he was with Ariel and then the woman's name, the I think employee. it might be Alex. I think it might be the Alex. Alex, the employee. I could, I could be wrong, name check. Um. But they had were like they were seen together making out together oh, like, in what public. Were they I'm like, are you literally like Crazy? on crack, honey? Someone got too comfortable. Like they, but see, they've been together for a year. Oh my. And the thing is, you know what's crazy? So Dumois, who is like an Instagram account, who is like very like the tea, people submit the tea. You know Dumois. Yep. Yeah. So they, they people like that are in the industry submit things and Dumois posts them. <sighs> and, but they're all, it's all anonymous where it's like, oh, things going on. And so like they submitted, like they had gotten this one thing, this long ass fucking thing that was like, yo, like they've actually been dating for a year. Um, the, the Try Guys found out a month prior. It wasn't even like oh they just found out, but they're trying to figure out like what to do in the last couple of weeks because it's like, <sighs> yo, they found out and they have to obviously go through so much legal, so many logistics, so many things. Cause he's literally like an owner of the company too. Like wow. he's not just like an employee. That's huge. He's like one of the four, you know? So it was like all the stuff. And I, and I have sources. <gasps> I have insider sources, Lord Lee. Uh, that corroborated that exact same story. So I'm like, whoever like Dumois like got that information from him is who also I got the exact same information from. Oh. And then the Try Guys also, well, I'm not saying they're the same person, but I'm just saying like they, it's like this, <laughs> it's like the story. Like that's the story that's been going on in the industry as well. But not only that, um, they go on their thing like you know we've known for weeks, and their things. So I'm like, oh shit! Like so they probably were dating for a year. Yeah. Just like Dumois had said in the You're statement. like, it seems legit. It seems like legit. Like that's what's been going on. Like they've been together for a long time and the, and the Try Guys didn't know 
what was going down behind the scenes. Like, I they don't had no think idea. They knew. I don't think they knew because of how quickly they acted on it. Same. I don't think they would have. I don't think they would have known and then not acted on it. Like I don't think they knew. I think they just found out. And it seems like honestly, weeks is not a long time to figure this situation no, out. No, imagine. So like, they acted on it. They were like, and uh-uh. the fact that they're kind of basically like they had content like going, and they're like trying to actively edit out Ned from oh all this content gosh, that they have. Oh my no. And so it's like, and so they basically, even in their statement, they're talking about like, yo, like honestly, like it's, it's tough for us because we have like things that we've done like a while ago and like we're trying our best to edit out Ned from stuff, but like there'll be branded sponsored stuff that Ned's so involved in. He's like, and you guys might see a couple like weeks down the line and like, it's going to be weird. But like we can't oh, do anything no. about it. Like we're in a like we're in a tough pickle right now. And honestly, Ned put them in this situation. Absolutely. And, and I, the thing is, like, I have to wonder. On. Like, like this is just me wondering. Mm-hmm. Like Ned, right now, like right now, mm-hmm. Ned, was it worth it? I don't think so. They've been together what do for you a whole last year. Thinks? I don't know what, what do you think. What do you think? You know, part of me sometimes I feel like cheaters want to get caught. Do you like part they've of me, had like, enough and they're just like fuck it all? Part of me really do does feel like cheaters right. want to be caught a little bit like part of the back of their head. Like for example, why are you going to a concert with making your mistress out. making out? Like obviously you want to get caught. You like there's a party that wants to get caught, or you're going to lunches together. All these maybe kind of things. he thought the worst thing that would happen was him get a divorce. Maybe he didn't realize the try guys were like uh uh-uh. uh. Well, the thing is, I'm sure it could have been a completely different situation if it wasn't an employee. Yeah, that, totally. I, I'm sure like totally. legally. I mean, there's no contract saying you can't cheat on your wife. Exactly. But I'm, it's more like, you know, morally corrupt yeah, absolutely. at that point. But it's not like a business, like a bad business thing. But the thing is because it was an employee, Oof. I think they can take this legal action and totally. all this kind of stuff. That's how they were able them. to do this because mm-hmm. it was like against the HR policy. Exactly. I honestly, you know, I when I, I watched the whole video um, that they made and I genuinely just feel so horrible. And like, I just like wish them the, the true, like the best, because not only are they losing like a business person, they're losing a good friend that they've had for years and years and years. Like I cannot even imagine because they all unfollowed that and everything. Like they're like, they want nothing they to do with them. They unfollowed him too? Absolutely. Oh shit. And they all unfollowed him. I saw like a thing where it was like, all the people that have unfollowed Ned and all three of them unfollowed him. <gasps> Man, he got uh-huh. the boot. He got like the true, the true boot. Do you feel like this is speculation? This is not factual. Do you feel like they were fed up with him as it was, because let me tell you something. If you put yourself in a situation with me where it was like, you did something horrible and my arms were tied and we had no choice, I wouldn't unfollow you. No, I know, I know, so no, like, totally. So that's just what makes me start right. to think and like speculate. Do you think there was some tea that we don't know about behind the scene with the guys and Ned or like- there, Honestly, there, there honestly could have been. Like speculating. They're, they're really, yeah, this is us speculating, absolutely. I think there definitely could have been, who knows like what, it is. I also had saw other things too from Dumois as well, and as well as like other sources of people that say that they worked for BuzzFeed and worked for the Try Guys back in the day, and saying that Ned was like the mean one. I swear to God, that's just what I've been seeing. <laughs> it's not it's obviously all it's speculation. 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 I don't even know if that people worked there, but it's basically but see, like like he was the one that people were intimidated by. The only thing that makes that come to life for me is that. They unfollowed him, and right. it seems like they're really quick to kind of give him the boot and get I'm him tr- out I'm of there. I'm gonna check right now because that's I had saw that like that they had unfollowed. But I'm just gonna triple check right now. Like, let me go look at one of them and just even see we'll be if right he back. is. We'll be right back with more info. Thank you to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys. Adam and Eve keeps their annual deals going. So this is a sex positive store. They have all types of different things. With all the crazy news about pricing growing these Mm, days and inflation, mm -hmm. it's nice to know that Adam and Eve is still offering the best deal. On adamandeve.com, you can get 50% off plus free shipping. I absolutely love that because I think that's really, really nice to have a store that's very sex positive, but you can find literally everything and anything, there's lingerie, movies, yes. videos, just there's so many things that you can actually acquire from Adam and Eve, which I absolutely personally love, that you can get so many things. Also, it's cool because if you order something from there, they have mm-hmm. discreet shipping. Which I think mm. is truly incredible because not everyone wants to be so like out with what they're buying, what kind of situations they got going on in the bedroom. It's a little more of a private. It's private. You know it's private. I mean? Mm-hmm. Manny, what kind of deal we got? Maybe we today? got an exclusive offer specific to this podcast. So be sure to support our show and use this code FOOL to get you not just 50% off, but also 100% free shipping with code FOOL. Go to adamandeve.com right now. Thank you. 
They unfollowed. We're back. I just, I just checked. They unfollowed. No, yeah, unfollowed. Oh, see, that's where for me, I start to speculate and I'm like, there was some tea going on. By the way, did you see Adam Levine performing with Maroon 5 already and his it. wife was at the concert, like fully supporting him? You know, I'm just. There's a bu there's a bunch of videos of them together right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, One just came out yesterday, actually. Uh -huh. of them like them leaving in the airport. Or, uh -huh. yeah. With that situation, Adam Levine, just because we have a little more information now I, in the cheating situation. I'm like, do celebrity couples even care? I don't know. Because like the way that she's just like, whatever. And like, it and maybe, was kind of dramatic. Or maybe she doesn't think, like, let's let's say it's like, because let's say if they never did anything physical. Maybe she's just like, whatever. He's like, oh, well, you know what? There was no like physical cheating, like whatever. He's like, I'm a rock star, baby. I'm sorry. You know, we do this. Like, you know how we are. You know how we are. And she's like, you know what? You're right. You're right. Because <laughs> that's or, what I imagine. No, that. me too. Like, Which is like. Because really? they seem because the way like they obviously did the PR stunt where the day after the scandal came out, they like publicly went where paparazzi were yes. to be seen together. She's mm -hmm. clearly got his back on this. 100%. Or she didn't have to do that. Like she didn't have to go out with him to show right. that they're a happy couple. Mm -hmm. And she clearly did it. So it's like seems like she's got his back on the situation. I think that, you know, when when kids become involved, I think that things could get a little bit more hairy. Cause it's like, you know, like they're a family unit and it's like, oh, things need to be for the kids. You know, a lot, that's like a big thing. Like, I just don't like, understand oh, for the kids. how Adam Levine is good for the kids. You know I what no, I mean? No like how, idea. like how is standing beside him? Uh-uh. And he gonna stand beside him. I ain't gonna stand beside him. I ain't gonna stand beside him. I ain't gonna stand beside But him. I really, I mean, I'm just saying that this is obviously speculation from us both too, but like, who knows if that could be one of her reasons to be like, you know, mm -hmm. with the kids, like we want we want to be like a strong unit yeah. together. If I had to speculate, I would say it's just like accepted in Hollywood. Or she just doesn't give a fuck. Or like she doesn't care and they could be in an open relationship. I just think- And we would have no idea. Because the amount of times- Chloe went back to Tristan and then got engaged with him. But and is it a Hollywood thing? It. See, that's what I'm saying. Or is it I just think like it's a like a Hollywood thing. And like and like they just like in Hollywood, it's like cheating is accepted. Look at Jay-Z and Beyonce. Like it's like, is cheating acceptable in Hollywood? Or they're just so scared of breaking up because of Hollywood's like standard and the people that they have to deal with, that it's easier just to stay together than to deal with. I think the Chloe also, like, would all have the been money involved, so much easier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Money yeah, involved yeah. with like yeah. divorces yeah. and money involved with- So nasty. All that kind of stuff. Like there could be such a, it could be mm. such a huge fucking cluster fuck that are mad. Like maybe they just don't even deal with it. Yeah, maybe. And, and maybe it just happens it. so much. There's like, everyone does Darn. this here. Everyone does yeah. this here, you know? Um. All right. That was just now, me that we, adding we, a little we're tidbit adding, in. We're adding to the cheater. We're adding to the, the cheater, cheater conversation. Scandals. Yeah. But yeah, regardless, um, we wish Try Guys the best. We do. But I know they're going to do great. They're going to do fantastic. They're going to do great without Ned. Sorry, mm -hmm. Ned. Sorry, Ned. You're out. Are we really sorry, though? <laughs> <laughs> You're out. I'm not that sorry. <laughs> All right. Next, next up on the agenda. Dream. The He's Minecraft a gamer. star. He's a super famous gamer. Famous, famous gamer. On YouTube, Minecraft. He also does um Twitch. Twitch. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that's how we, I think I feel like that's how he started. He, but his so channel on YouTube has 30 million subs. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like he's huge. He's like online. Matt. And I always see stuff like with Dream, like yeah. trending always on Twitter all the time. Like I know like the Minecrafters, like the gamers, like they are like on another they level. For of dream. Dream. Like they ride for Dream heavy, heavy hard. Um, and so he always was known to have a mask. He had this like smiley he wouldn't Walmart show his looking face. ass. He wouldn't show mask. his face. Wouldn't show his face. It's it's been that since day one. So right. it's always been that. So he just had a face reveal literally two days ago. What made him? I don't know. Maybe he just started to feel like you know what I want to show myself. Maybe it's he started time. to feel like comfortable enough and like was like you know what. 30, I made enough money. Thirty million subscribers. He's like, it's, I think time. it's time. At thirty million, I think he's like, I, I'm ready to show. Honestly, I, I like gotta say it. this: it's impressive to grow that big without even showing your sure. face. I gotta give him that. Oh, baby, like major props. But that's like what gaming is. Like, I, but you see, know? also maybe he's like also just really. I'm not like I don't watch Minecraft. I don't like watch gaming stuff Me like either. that. But maybe he's also really really good at Minecraft. It's just like the talent and like he's just like because he's talented. There. Yeah, and like a lot of people, like a lot of big gamers are big gamers because they're so good at the game. Yeah. So people love to watch like, oh my God, like, I can't believe they just made that happen. So mm. I bet Dreams is an amazing Minecrafter. Like I incredible. I mean, come on, 30 million subscribers. There's gotta be something to it. Yeah. There's gotta be something to it. Of course. So basically you guys, he did a full face reveal on YouTube. He was doing like this lead up to it where he was like showing all his like friends and these big creators and they were showing them reacting to it and all crazy. Y'all, I feel like the face reveal didn't go as planned. <laughs> This is why 
I would never. I would never be able to like hype showing my face no, up because neither. I'm like, if they don't like what they see, <laughs> like I can't I'll take cry. that. Like, take it. like the whole internet just coming down on you. Like, oh, mm, you guys. Like the second he did the reveal, there was viral tweets. Like, I'm not kidding. Within like ten minutes, that had like hundreds of thousands of likes. It and I was like, oh my god, up. thank God he's ugly. <gasps> See, that's, that horrible? Something, that's something I would struggle I would very struggle with, with hundreds of thousands of people liking and calling me ugly after like, I, I revealed do well myself, that. after proving all this talent. Like, see, that's where I would not be. I wouldn't do well with that. I wouldn't do well with that. I think, honestly, I think it's so fucked up. Like, I really do. I like, do it's too. so sad. Like, for you to be like wanting to finally be comfortable enough to do a face reveal and then that happened like and have like first of all he's not ugly internet, he's not ugly like the internet i just personally think i just think they're fucking mean they're just mean i like, just think just they're mean. mean i think the internet's just mean and like it because when certain things blow up to a certain extent the internet just wants to tear it down and especially when like if they know they can get likes for, for something it. of the opposite of that so it's like people are so happy and proud and excited for dream to do it so it's like okay let's find the other half of the community that wants to tear him down and they do a tweet and then it becomes viral so if people for instance what manny was saying like if they did a tweet saying oh i'm so happy he did his reveal he looks so good he should have done this a long time ago those tweets wouldn't have gotten any attention or like but saying something like oh, oh my god, god. He's hit. yeah thank god he's ugly knowing good and well Boom. those are gonna go viral you're gonna see a lot more of that action because in today's day and age it's all about doing anything and everything to go viral regardless of what that is mm -hmm. whether it's hurting people's feelings or not or being a complete demonic human Human, like or being Kanye just West, want, or being Kanye West, because that is a or great lead West. way into like what it is. Mm. Like, and no, it's the truth. It's like people just want to do anything for attention at this point, and it's honestly really sad. But I hope that Dream doesn't feel like sad or disappointed by I, the reveal that's, stuff. Because that's I feel what like, I hope. I really hope for that for him because. No one ever deserves to be like ridiculed like that for the way you look. And he's not ugly at all. No. And at, at all. all. At all. And I just think the internet's being fucked up. And I hope he's strong enough to understand that. And like understand. Yeah. And he has 30 million subs. I'm exactly. sure he, got, he gets a lot of hate And I too. hope he grew off of it too. Yeah, he's got to be used to like shit. And he's a gamer. So like those are like. one day that video had 29 million views. I feel like honestly, if y'all want to watch 29 million views, say I'm ugly. Honestly. Just say I'm ugly. Say I don't I'm care. Ugly. You're right. You're right, Manny. That changes the conversation. One day had 29 million views. I hope views. it was monetized for him. It better be. Because y'all gonna pay. It fucking better. You're gonna pay, gonna pay to call me ugly. Actually, they don't have to pay a penny. No, I know they don't. That's, but he's gonna get he's paid. He's gonna get paid. He's gonna get paid for that. I'm gonna get paid to be called ugly. He Absolutely. Said, he said, a video 29 million views, he probably made, and my numbers could be off, but I'm just, I've been on YouTube for 10 years, and I'm just doing some Give it to us. rough math. Because I don't know how many ads he put in the video, and I don't know what his CPU is. And it was and it was only like a six minute video. God, so we could only put one ad. You can't put two you can't ads. Add another one. The yeah, video has to be so only one ad. It's Ooh, not going to be like maybe what you would think. two hundred thousand, one hundred fifty thousand dollars. He probably maybe. made between two hundred thousand and one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Now, depending on his CPM, which his numbers, I would assume is very, very high because he's so watched. But he doesn't upload very often, uh, so I think that can make it a problem too. So I, he I'm, uploads like every couple months. If I had to guess, twenty nine million views, I would low rough CPM. estimate low CPM, only one ad. He can't put multiple ads. My rough estimate is that he made between one hundred and fifty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars off that video. Yeah, just from like. From what we from what we know from what we know from what like, we can gather from information from information that we don't have Dang. speculation hey that's good that's, a that's good that's amazing that's, that's, that's amazing that's, money like that's fucking crazy you know you know you see me on YouTube bro I'm call me ugly on the fuck you are so like, like bitch we know what you look like we don't give a fuck Laura we know too much girl <laughs> we know too much you tell us too much. Well, honestly, we wish the best for Dream. And we do. I'm, I'm personally, I don't obviously don't know anything about him or anything about like Twitcher streamers or anything like that. But I wish him the best. I and do I too. hope that he doesn't feel. I hope he feels like good shit. about it. I hope he feels empowered. And Me I too. hope he's able to recognize people wanting to go viral versus true intent and hate mm -hmm. towards what And I'm he sure all of his like. fans like, are on. fucking dope as fuck. Totally. Follow him and like ride for him so hard. And they're probably like, I'm so proud and happy for him. See, I'm not even a fan. I'm proud of him for doing it. Like uh, that's yeah, fucking cool. Like right. to not feel confident enough to be able to reveal your face, then finally doing it. Like you've gotten to a spot where you could, and you felt like you could. Like that's great. I think it's great. 
Well, next, um, an attention grabber is Mr. Kanye West. Why is he wearing a honey, White Lives Matter honey, hoodie? Listen, okay, this is the only thing. I mean, there's tons of speculation, obviously, as to why he showed up at Fashion Week at his show with that hoodie on that mm-hmm. said White Lives Matter. There's with a, Candace. With Candace. There's a lot of speculation, mm-hmm. but a source that spoke for Kim that knows Kim came out, and this is alleged, but the source said Kim is extremely annoyed with it. And she said this is clearly, allegedly, Kim said this is clearly just another attention grab from Kanye West. He wants the attention. I'm not shocked. Like I'm literally not I'm surprised just whatsoever. Not shocked. This does this behavior does not shock me whatsoever. Like it doesn't. I'm not surprised that he did this. Well, that's the sad part about it, is that like for him to get to the point where he can like do literally whatever he wants essentially and like do the most just like outlandish, ridiculous, like sick things. And for people to be like, oh, well, you know, it's Kanye. Yeah. Like that annoys me like yeah. low key. And it's like, it's going to, he becomes big from it and all this press from it. Obviously he got Tons so press. much press from wearing the White Lives Matter hoodie. And it's like, at what point are you like, okay, you know what? I might be going too far for just for attention. I don't think that he even has that. I don't think there is a point for him. I don't think there is a point. I think that he could literally will do anything and everything for attention because he's a narcissist. Yeah. I actually agree with you 100%. We think he's a narcissist and doesn't care who it hurts. Mm-hmm. Or and, and there's a lot of people that like ride for him in this behavior. Oh, people like love Kanye, like yeah. are obsessed with Kanye. Mm-hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, Kanye makes amazing music. A and lot he's of been people an do. icon forever. A lot, of, a lot people of people are. Do. A lot and of people are. And they don't behave like do. that. And they don't. Exactly. And the thing is, I wouldn't, I'll, I'll always give credit where it's due when it comes to like talent. Like, okay, you're talented. Great. Cool. Yeah. But I'll never excuse actions that mm-hmm. are so inappropriate mm-hmm. for attention. And it's like starts to kind of get muted down because he has done so many different it's things. It's like crying wolf. That. It's like, oh, Kanye's being Kanye again. And I hope that I get to the point where people like see Kanye doing something and they stop even talking about it. It works like, like a I charm so. every time as far as the attention grab. Like it works like a charm. Mm-hmm. You know, his ex-wife who knows him probably better than any of us mm-hmm. is calling it an attention grab. So that's why. And she would know. Yeah, see, that's why, Kim knows that's how to get why attention. I'm led to believe because mm-hmm. allegedly this is her thoughts on it. And that's why I'm led to believe that's what this is. And in that case, I'm like, well, it's working. It's that, absolutely working, but that sucks. And I almost like wish it wasn't working. Yeah. Like even us talking about it now, I'm like, fuck, we're talking about it. <laughs> we're like, all but, right, next subject. <laughs> I'm <like>, next subject. <laughs> um, but it, it just, it is ridiculous. And I hope that it gets to the point where people don't like, the reason we've been talking about it is because of how big it got. Yeah. It's literally all over everywhere. I'm like, everywhere. dude, can it like, and I wouldn't he, have known about it if it wasn't knew. everywhere. He needed a way to like get this fashion show more press. Talking. More press. Because people were going to talk about it, but it wasn't going to be the headlines. Like, there's a million fashion not. shows going on right. in Paris right now. It definitely wasn't going to be the headlines. So he needed to find a way to do that. And he did. Shocking. Hashtag not shocked. Next, he's going to wear a fucking hat, a red hat. <laughs> he's already done that. I know, but he's at the next already show. Done I know that. about the next show or something. Like something that he wants to push more. It's just anything for an attention grab. It's so fucking annoying to me. It's annoying. Um, next up oh, on our agenda, 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 Haley Bieber. Next up in the Virginia. Girl, Miss Haley Bieber. She's out here spilling some tea. Okay. But not a lot of tea. Not a lot, honestly. And so, okay. Selena, uh, Selena Gomez has a documentary. It's huge and it's mm-hmm. coming out very, very soon in the next few weeks. I believe it's going to mm-hmm. drop. And this is supposed to be a big where's documentary it for like, where, where's it I think be? it's Netflix if I'm not mistaken, but okay. I will look it up. Maybe that's going to get so many views. Oh my God. It's going to be huge. It's but be huge. there's a lot of speculation as to what's going to be said and what's going on and how much of her story is going to be told in this documentary. But from the speculation, basically she's going to tell everything like that's. Mm. That's the tea. Mm -hmm. So the fans start to speculate when Haley comes out that she's going to go on a podcast and reveal, you know, a lot of her side of things. Her side of things whenever we haven't heard her side of things in years. And it's like at this time that this documentary is coming out now, weeks before. Now it's time. It's like, hey, let's do Call Her Daddy podcast. So that was like all my TikTok feed. Yeah, Uh she went on the Call Her Daddy podcast. Mm But that's why all this tea started brewing. My whole timeline on TikTok was just like, Haley's doing this because she knows the documentary's coming out. And I couldn't help but to kind of myself be like, 
Is that why? The timing's a little impeccable. Right. It's almost like too accurate for it to be just a coincidence. Um, I believe her... Oh, it's coming out on Apple TV. Got it. Apple TV. And when is it Selena coming out? Selena Gomez. It's called My Mind and Me by Selena Gomez. It's coming out November 4th. I'm going to have to on watch. On Apple TV. Yep. I'm going to have to watch because mm-hmm. I need the to The trailer's know. out on YouTube if you guys want to check it out. The trailer was released 13 days ago. So it, it, it's it's building high. It's, it got it. And then this podcast dropped with Haley answering questions about her relationship with Justin Bieber. So on Call Her Daddy podcast, they asked her, basically, there's a lot of speculation. Were you with Justin while he was with Selena? That's like the big fuss That's and the fight. Thing. That's it's like, the was, big fuss was and fight. Was he cheating on Selena with you? Was he cheating on Selena with you? And she totally tiptoes around the answers. Do I blame her? No, because this is her fucking personal. This is her life. I I honestly (laughs) be like, fuck it. I don't care. I'm not going on a podcast. I'd be like, I'm not talking about this. I would too. I wouldn't even do it. But I feel like Haley like forefronts all this for Justin. Like I feel like Haley takes all of this. She takes the brunt of all this for Mm -hmm, Justin. mm -hmm. I do. I just feel like she does. I do too. And it's like we we go back and, oh, I'm team Selena. I'm team Haley. What the fuck? fuck like what about justin well justin what about justin what's what's funny to me i truly believe that behind every strong man is a stronger woman oh i believe that too wholeheartedly this is the exact same example of it i just like can't even imagine what Haley knows that we don't know and like what Haley has dealt with that we don't know and what selena has dealt with with justin that we don't know and like the Honestly, I don't want to call Justin a villain because these Bieber fans out here will come for will me. Come for you. They will come for me and so for me. hard. And the podcast. But- <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're going to the podcast. <laughs> the Bieber fans are coming. No, literally. But I'm like, guys, wake up. You're pitting two wonderful, successful women mm-hmm. against each other over this fucking teenager dude who was yes. who's like popular during his teenage years yes. for his baby love songs. Mm-hmm. Like, what about him? Mm-hmm. What about the hatred there? Why, why is it always... It's always the pinning of the, the girlfriends. Why don't the, the I wife, hear like Justin? Why do I keep hearing Selena and Justin. Haley? Justin, where is your podcast explaining what went down in the relationship? Yeah. Why does it have to be Haley? But the thing is, the problem is that Haley, let's say if she wants to do anything, it's always gonna, Justin's always going to be brought into it because at the time, I believe Justin was like the bigger celebrity. Way bigger. You know what I mean? I mean, so he, it's was. Like, he, he was. So it's like at the end of the day, like it's kind of kind of, it's always going to be involved with Haley because she's now Haley Bieber. So it's like, that's always going to kind of be like, in the conversation. Her. It's always going to follow her. It would be nice to hear him speak up on the topic since he has two wonderful women being pitted against each mm-hmm. other because and of like, him, honestly, technically because of him. Totally. And like, I, I think Selena kind of, kind of talked about it a little bit. She was saying that like on like, I think it was like a TikTok live where she's talking about like how, it's not right for people to be sending hate anywhere to anyone. She would kind of without saying like names and stuff like that. She was very much like, I don't believe in that. Like we need to stand for each other. And you know, Selena's so sweet. Like you can just fucking tell like Selena is a sweet little angel. I promise you she's a sweet little angel. Like I can just, I just feel it in her, my fucking bones that she's I've the sweetest. I met her very briefly. And I always say when you meet someone for a few seconds, that doesn't mean anything. Right. Like I mean, it doesn't. you meet them for five minutes. Yeah, it's a quick interaction. It doesn't mean anything. So I'm not trying to vouch for her sweetness based off meeting her for literally like five minutes. Because again, that doesn't mean anything. But her vibe and her consistent vibe online, mm-hmm. I believe that in her brand, everything it represents, the employees at her brand that she yeah. keeps around her, mm-hmm. they're all Amazing. angels. They're, fucking dumb. they're like the, the nicest, they're dope. very comforting people mm-hmm. almost. Like like it's very positive environment always. Always about taking care of your mental. Yeah. That's so what they're about. I'm sorry. I'm just led to believe that Selena is an angel. Me too. I I'm fully am. convinced. I am. I just love her. And um, I think Haley's great too. I do too. I love I Haley. Like Haley. I met Haley at her fucking skincare brand launch. Right. And like she was so, I just wanted to, I, I literally, I didn't want to be like a weirdo and be like, hey, I want to wait for you for a photo. I was just like, hey, I just want to say I'm a huge fan and that uh, congratulations on the brand. She was so nice. And she was yeah. so like, hey, it's so nice to see you. And yeah. it was just super cool. And it was the same kind of situation where it's like, I don't get like this in-depth conversation but I also get like good vibes from her as well. And I get very like demure, sweet energy. And I feel like a lot of the hate Haley gets comes from being Justin Bieber's wife. Absolutely. You know? And like I feel all the bad. hate that she gets is from me. Just- <laughs> I mean, 
it's just the truth. And that's so, just what it is. So that's why I'm just like, I feel for her in the situation of dealing with this when it's like her husband is the reason of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But on the podcast, she tiptoed around the answer, but basically she said that Justin was with Selena for years and years. We all mm-hmm. know about the relationship. They broke up. Her and Justin started talking. The relationship wasn't like super, super, super deep oh, and invested. Dating. They dating. were like dating around. Then they kind of called it off there. And then he, I don't know if you guys remember the paparazzi pictures of Selena and Ju- and Justin whenever they were biking together. I remember them. And I'll be honest, I didn't know about him and Haley at the time because I'm not that invested in Justin Bieber. Same. But I was like, oh my God, they're getting back together. Like I thought that was really I the sweet. Same, same. You know, the whole internet like kind of exploded uh-huh. and then it was no time later crickets. crickets and then he was back with Haley and five minutes later he was engaged so obviously the speculation was that he was with both girls at the same time but she broke it up as in he needed to do that one last little touch with Selena just to confirm that like she's it's not gonna work not gonna, the relationship the is officially over like mm-hmm. it's done and to kind of close that chapter in his life he just needed to basically like touch. closure he needed closure and need they closure. both needed closure and mm-hmm. that's kind of what that was and then after that he was able to like get serious with Haley get engaged with her and that's like pretty much what she explains on the podcast um the only other thing she explained was uh, like it was it was kind of got weird because she was like tell us a sex position that you love and I was kind of like what and she was like but but, but and like did, she, what did she answer that yes What'd so Haley say? keeps trying to like tiptoe around it and she was like oh we just do like a lot of positions and she's like yeah most people don't but what's one that you like and it was just so odd of because, course like, she like kept, Alex Cooper's like yeah Alex but well, one. Like, but it's because like Call Her Daddy she definitely like that's how very she gets sex positive but that's and how very, she like, gets celebrities on because she gets them, them to spill uh huh like that's how her podcast got so big right and that's how this all works so she ended up saying doggy style and I was like see this is something I shouldn't know this is something I should know (laughs) but I'm glad I know are no, you? I'm glad I know now yeah I am but the problem is as soon as you said doggy style the my mind immediately went to them having doggy style sex and I was like it's not my vibe it's so not my vibe (laughs) Straight, like, sex is just not my vibe. So I'm just like, "Mm, Mm. you know, maybe I didn't have to know that, but it is nice to know. So now we know. But anyways, apparently they were not together at the same time. And it kind of seems like, in a way, Selena is supporting this I feel like she's supporting conversation that Hailey Bieber had. Because Mm -hmm. after she had it, she went on the live session and was basically like... You know, no one should be being mean yeah, to no, anyone. Don't be bullying anyone. Because don't Haley be... addressed all the bullying she's yeah. received from Selena fans. Yeah. And so Selena then backs she's it like, up. It's not with coming like, from me. Yeah. It's not coming from me. No, like, but... do not bully her. Yeah. Do not bully her. So, and it's like, Selena is probably like, honestly, in her world, she's probably like, I'm so fucking over Justin right now. Like, like why the fuck are people even talking about this shit thank anymore? Thank you. Can you That's imagine? probably what she's thinking. That's probably what she's thinking. Mm-hmm. She's done so much in she's her like, career bro, that doesn't involve fuck? Justin Bieber. She's yeah. probably like, can we talk about any of that? Literally anything else. So. Love her. Love her. Love Haley. I feel like after this documentary comes on, it's probably not going to touch too much on the relationship. What if, it does, uh, what if it's all about it? <gasps> oh! <laughs> we'll have to follow up on the podcast. What if she exposes everything? Here are the text messages to prove it. That oh we God, That they Danny. were together at the time. I'm going to be and honest. That, like, it, I, that would shake me to my actual core. Whatever Selena says, because like I think she's such an angel, I would probably believe me too you know like she I she has like, that like essence to her where i'm like i believe you. she selena. has this honesty yes There's an honesty factor yes. with selena so i feel like whatever she says i'd probably I'm like, believe yeah i be believe true. you i, I, can, like I can agree one. more yeah and only Haley would get hate for it not justin though so what does it matter so why would Selena tell anything? She would. Just why is it always it? like the girl <laughs> that gets the shit when the like? For example, let's just say in an off world, like Justin. Let's say he did cheat on. Let's say Selena, and it was with Haley. Let's just let's say. just say that. And like it came out that it was you know that's what happened. It would be Haley that would get the hate, not, not Justin, even Justin. Not because Justin. that's just how misogyny works mm-hmm. in our world with cheaters and men. Now, I'm not saying that he's a cheater. Obviously, that this is like complete speculation, and like hypothetical. But like. If that happened, that's what it would be. And it's really sad. We have no proof that he cheated. It's like, Ned's, it's and, like the girl. And Haley's getting, getting so hate. much hate. Yeah. And we have no proof that he even cheated. Mm-hmm. And yet Haley is having to do a podcast on and it. And she's the one having to like talk about it to the press. You're right. Like, it's just like ridiculous. I'm like, why is it always the girls that get the more, get more attacked when it comes to like cheating scandals than the guy? Yeah. 
that seems see, like that's happened what a lot. My thought was going. I'm like, where's Justin? Where the where is Justin in all this? Where is he? Where is he? Where are you? Where's Justin? Where? It's like, where's some Carmen San Diego? Where's Justin? Where's Justin? And I think that'll be it for the rapid fire. Oh, I think that's it, Dolan. We love gave it. our Kanye West, Justin Bieber, Haley Bieber, Selena Gomez, Dream, Try Guys. We hit a lot. Opinions. We hit a lot. Guys, don't forget to join the conversation in the comments. We go through both of us and read your comments. We heart, we like, we comment back. We love to hear what your opinions are. You can agree, disagree with us on this. We're just dishing here. We're just okay? spilling. We're just spilling tea and mm -hmm. dishing on it, going mm -hmm. back and forth. So please join the conversation. Don't forget to rate, like, and subscribe. You guys, also, don't forget to click the notification bell. Oh. If you're watching this on YouTube, like you guys, and you guys want that tea, hit the notification bell so you guys know when we're going live. Also, you guys, we have been making the audio version of Full Coverage Live on Thursday nights. Uh -huh. So if you guys are like kind of wanting a little bit more of the tea a little quicker, you guys can listen on Thursday nights instead of- You'll get the early scoop. Uh, 12 o'clock, so you get the early scoop on audio, like on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. That's so. right. You guys want the tea a little early. Honey, you know where to find it. You know where to find it. Hey, hey, hey. And we, we also guys. link that in the description if you're like, I still don't know where to find the audio. We will it's link it. always in the description mm -hmm. of our YouTube videos. But we love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.